What's up guys? Nate DeBoss here back with another pack of reactions video. And yes, after seven months, well, seven, eight months, we back. We back on the pack of reactions. So tonight, I'm, I'm shaking my head. I'm shaking my head. And that's all I can say is I'm shaking my head. I am very disappointed for a multitude of reasons. I just think that our lack of execution and especially in the red zone cost us the game because I feel like we left so many points out there and we just had a lot of untimely mistakes that cost us the game. And it's frustrating. And I get it. The Eagles are a good team. And it's week one. And we're still trying to figure things out. I get it. But I still think there were plenty of opportunities for us to win the game. And if we get a win early, if we got this win early, I'm like, all right, now I'm starting to think this could be our year. And tonight it did not look like we were the better team because of, well, I think the one thing it came down to was our lack of execution in the red zone. I mean, I could note specific times, like on the offensive side of the ball. Otherwise, like just moving the ball downfield, we did a pretty good job on. There were a few drives that were kind of a little icky, but overall, I think our offense did a pretty solid job outside of the, our execution in the red zone. If we opened up our play calling to running the ball a little more and maybe spreading out the receivers, like on those early drives, I think if we had a little bit more of a will to run the ball, hey, I think we could have been up 14 nothing to start the game. And you know what? I mean, the defense is doing us these favors by getting us some stops and the offense after we went up 26 30, I mean, 26, 24, I think. We were only able to get three points, and I was very disappointed in our kicker that we just signed who nailed a 59-yarder in the preseason. <sighs> Man, I I don't know about this guy. I mean, I I have my doubts. I definitely have my doubts about our kicker situation right now because we will but go of both Greg Joseph and Anders Carlson which I would have honestly kept Greg Joseph. It, it looked like he was the guy like who knew what he was doing. Trust me. Because his kicks were like right down Broadway every time in the preseason. Maybe he missed like one or two. I don't really remember. But, and I know he missed that one field goal against the Broncos, but who cares? It's preseason. But overall, from the trends, I mean, I just knew that Greg Joseph was the kicker and that the Packers signed this guy from the who got let go by the Titans. And uh, I don't know. I feel like that was just a boneheaded move on Brian Gutekunst and Gu Gu Brian Gutekunst's end. <sighs> so I am very frustrated and disappointed with the kicking game, and I don't know if I can trust it moving forward. And I uh, know there's speculation about bringing Mason Crosby back, but the only doubt I have is his, his leg strength. If we need a long field goal, that's going to be the problem. Like, I don't trust him on long field goals anymore, just mainly because of his age and his wear, the wear and tear on his leg. So that's pretty much my vent about uh, the offense this game. The defense, I mean, they, they had their ups and downs. I know the Eagles are a very talented team. And and getting three, maybe four turnovers against them and stopping the tush push maybe once or twice, I think that's, like, very impressive. 
like all things considered. But honestly, if the Eagles got a few more, got lucky and got a few more scores, I mean, the game would have been out of reach. But the Packers should be pretty damn thankful that they they were even in this game. And at the end, Jordan Love gets hurt. It appeared to, he looked like he twisted his ankle. I mean, I don't know if it's anything serious. From what I've seen watching the game throughout for like 12 years, I think it's probably like a high ankle sprain and he's, I don't, I don't think he's going to be out. I, I mean, they say probably like at least two weeks, but I mean, Jordan Love is like, fuck it, I'm, I'm playing. I mean, look at what Patrick Mahomes did and he, with a high ankle sprain. He, he fucking sent it and he, well, I mean, and granted it was the playoffs, but I don't know. I I mean, we'll just have to see how everything goes and and stuff. So with the MRIs and everything, I just hope it's nothing serious because, I mean, we just gave him a four-year, $220 million contract extension. And if he's going to be out for a significant amount of time, I'm going to say we are fucked. Because if you don't have a good quarterback, I think we're fucked. And as much as I hurt to say it, I mean, it's, I mean, it's not really going to get easier. I mean, we got to get off to a good start here before we start playing some of these better teams like San Francisco and Miami and Houston down the stretch. So I am a little bit concerned with that. And Josh Myers, I know, got hurt on that same play as well. But. Overall, I think the, the Packers should just be pretty thankful that they were even in the game and the defense bailed them out and at least held them to a field goal. It, it It's frustrating, everything that went down today. And I just hope that we can move on from this game and and just continue to move forward. And hopefully Jordan Love is all right because he's – pretty much the backbone of this team now and if we don't have that backbone we're fucked i'm actually surprised that i didn't go on too hard of a vent just because it's week one and of course we're just trying to figure everything out um so i think that's pretty much all i got to say about the game but overall it was just kind of a stupid game and i just think that the I just think that the Eagles were definitely the better team on both sides of the ball. I mean, we ha we had our we had our good and bad, but we just really need to hope Jordan loves okay and move on and hope for the best the next 16 games this year because I really definitely want the Packers to get a Super Bowl in the coming years because I don't even know if I'm going to be in the Green Bay area. And I would love to see a Packers Super Bowl parade during my time in in Green Bay. So, and anyways, um, I will say where I watched the game tonight, I watched it at Titletown. It was really fun. And I met Greg Jennings. So that's a uh, final, uh, final word. James Jones was going to be there as well, but he was MIA. So <sighs> I mean, I just hope for Jordan Love to be okay. That's pretty much the only thing I'm worried about right now. And just kind of moving on thinking, oh, it's just the Eagles. Well, I mean, we got to be prepared to play the Eagles if we have to play them in the playoffs and on the road, maybe even on the road, God forbid, because you know, the Eagles have some of the worst fans in the league. So, yeah. So, I'm a little bit tired and I got a long, I have a two and a half hour drive tomorrow morning. So, I am going to Badger game tomorrow, by the way. So, that's pretty much all I got in this video, guys. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Go Pack Go.